Shenzhen is an incredible city to live in. I've been here for five years now. It's very green. You basically have trees everywhere. A lot of parks and greenery in the avenues and parks and streets. It's also super modern. It feels like you're living in the future. It is also very convenient to live in. But of course, like every big metropolis in the world, it could get a little bit noisy sometimes. One of the main issues I have while living here was the language barrier because here nobody speaks English like me. So I was everywhere I was going, I was just using my translator on my phone, trying to communicate with people. Um, eventually I kind of started learning some Mandarin, but it was kind of frustrating because Chinese definitely is not easy. I thought I knew how to say something and then they couldn't get anything. And at the same time, I was not understanding anything of what they were saying. It was kind of a tough process. Right now, I don't like really speak Mandarin fluently, but I kind of manage like basic Chinese. I can communicate on a daily basis. Despite all these issues I had with the language, um, I have to say Chinese people are very friendly people. When you are living here as a foreigner, they're always nice to you. At least that was my experience and that for me made the difference to choose between staying or living. Located in southern China, Shenzhen has a population of almost 14 million people. It's home of some of the biggest tech players in the world, like Huawei, Tencent, DJI and OnePlus. There are some pretty impressive facts about Shenzhen. It has the highest GDP per capita in China and, according to Forbes, in 2020 Shenzhen is the seventh city with the most billionaires living in surpassing cities like San Francisco, Mumbai, and Singapore. A total of 44 super-rich people live here, with a whopping net worth of more than $220 billion. I wonder if I ever cross paths with any of them. Shenzhen is a very well-connected city. It's just 15 minutes away from Hong Kong by high-speed rail, it is also just one hour from Macau by ferry, and 40 minutes by train from Guangzhou. So living here feels like you're close to everywhere. Being the 7th largest in China and the 12th in the world, Shenzhen Metro is clean, efficient and cheap. A regular ride costs the equivalent to less than 1 US dollar. This metropolis is the world's pioneer in electric vehicles. It has a real commitment to become a green city. Shenzhen's bus fleet has been all electric since 2017, and in the present time, Shenzhen has more than 16,000 units in service, being the city with the largest electric fleet in the world. The taxi fleet also reaches 99% of electric vehicles. 
All these units count with about 20,000 public charging stations all around the city. Despite all the achievements the city has accomplished, Shenzhen is still somehow under construction, with many more skyscrapers, highways, tunnels, bridges, subway lines and parks under construction. Yes, it's definitely not easy to adapt to such a different culture. But after all, it's totally worth it. People is nice, food is delicious, the quality of life is really good and living in a city like Shenzhen in such an important time for China and the world makes you feel very special, like a main character of a movie. Well, that's the way I feel. <laughs>